what are what do you see as the key pitfalls or the key challenges while for human rights work being done online uh, but also what are maybe there the opportunities that have not yet been explored what do you see maybe you know with a with a with a view forward how can we better use the um the the, the digital space for for human rights work um and obviously, this is a very general um, thing, a question. Um, but I would like to ask you to focus on maybe the things that you see as burning issues or burning challenges, and um, also, you know, if you have some, some opportunities that just you would think they have been missed, or or where human rights defenders can do more. So. Uh, let's start uh, with you, Irina, uh, if that's uh, if that's okay. Um, what do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so when, when the pandemic started, uh, we had these huge issues because we uh, we work with human rights defenders, with journalists, we help them with um, their digital security, and a lot of this work is actually uh, one on one on one. Uh, work with, uh, on setting up something, uh, on setting up accounts, setting up uh, devices. And uh, we had this challenge because of uh, the quarantine, everyone was uh, isolated. And uh, our, our clients, our journalists and human rights defenders, they, they didn't know what to do when something wasn't working because before they just turned to us and uh, we were there to help them offline. And uh, people are not used to uh, all their work being online. And this is the problem. Uh, it was a, a huge problem for us because every time we had to uh, think whether we want to risk our health uh, to help other people. And uh, also these this, uh, events are all happening online. And this is also a problem because we miss the human connections like before uh, I, I think you can all agree that all the conferences all the meetings the main the main purpose is actually what is happening uh, during the coffee breaks uh, the human connection that we make during the coffee breaks this is the most val valuable and now it's missing and we don't even know when it's gonna go back to normal or maybe uh, it is never gonna <laughs> go back to normal and this is the new normal and i can say that even for me it is very hard even though i am a person who work with technologies uh, with technology technologists on technologists even for me it's very frustrating sometimes um, the challenge is with people who are uh, in not in our cities not in our countries people who we used to work with who we used to help uh, and now we can we can't travel to them, and not always we have a trusted uh, trusted people there they can that can help with uh, with digital security, and it's not always possible to do online. So this is a huge challenge. And also in Ukraine, I can say that before, uh, when we talk about some policies, uh, for us problem was to find a balance between human rights and um, um, national security, national safety. So this was also this was also always uh, uh, this talk about what what can we do to ensure that human rights are in place. Uh, but we should fight uh, in a war actually with Russia, right? But now it is also we should fight. Uh, in a war and we should fight this fight this disease and now it's even harder to find this balance because all the new uh, all new instruments uh, that are uh, meant to help us to fight pandemic they are also crossing bound boundaries of uh, privacy and uh, other our human rights so this is uh, if if i can uh, just in a nutshell describe the challenges so these are the challenges that we are faced that we are facing and we don't have a clear answer right now how, how to manage those yeah 